anybody know how to get the bar off their back yes. without hurting themselves? Yeah. You want to show us real quick without the bar? Uh, if in a squat, yeah. you, you just roll it off the back of your fingers. Interesting. No, that's wrong. No. And I, as in that, so that's the thing that scares me, guys. A lot of us think we, it's just dropping the bar. It's not dropping the bar. You're going to throw it off of your back. So if you're, so if you're throwing it off your back, which direction your torso move? No. The torso has to move backwards, right? Because if I go forward, I'm just letting the weight go on top of me. Now, where do my hips have to go if I'm throwing the bar off my back? They have to go forward. You have to counterbalance. It's literally the exact opposite. So everybody get in the squat position right in front of me. All right, everybody's in their squat position. Everybody's got the bar there. Oh my God, I can't stand this up. Everybody watch me. I'm going to drive my hips forward. I'm going to shoot my shoulders backwards. And watch what happens with my knees. Boom. Ready? Go. Reset. Do it again. Get down the floor. And go. Good. Perfect. Everybody stand up. Megan, you stand right there. Everybody else get away. Now, when we do this, guys, a lot of people are doing this the right way, but like, like Jen just said, they just let it roll off their back. They didn't throw it off their back. If this has any significant amount of weight on it, get it away from you. So Megan's just going to catch the bar, right? I'm going to over-exaggerate, lay it as far as I'm going to throw it back. So I'm coming down, I'm like, oh man, I can't do it. Notice how I let go my hands, and I push the bar back. So it goes opposite. I'm putting trajectory or putting momentum behind the bar, but I don't try to throw it, it's still just gonna roll down my back and maybe hit my feet. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Alright, wrap it. Everyone's gonna do three reps. Let's go. Behind me. Sonia, or Amy Joe, you're up. Sonia, let's see what you're doing. Let's go. Let's spot. How would you spot? I'm just curious. I just want to see. I just want to see how you would spot. We're, now, normally, guys, I'm not going to lie, I don't want you spotting anybody. You grab a coach for that. Now, I don't hate that, right? I want to talk about why I don't hate that. How much is that weigh? I would do it 55 pounds. 55 pounds. How strong is Sonya? Strong. Sonya's really strong. When I spot you guys, I do what Sonya did. I'm off the side, I, I squat with them, I tap on the sides. If you guys were spotting me, it's not going to work. It's not gonna, you're not going to push the weight up. Now, if we, we see what Amy Joe's doing. What was that, Amy Joe? Spotting. She's under. So who wants to? Who wants to? I'm going to spot them. Amy Joe, let's go. So the heavier spot, and again, guys, I don't recommend this. I would rather you drop the bar and get a coach to spot you. And now she's going to go. Now I'm going to be with her like this, and I'm underneath her. I'm helping her. I clamp onto the sides. Like I use my arms. I'm not going Obviously, right? But I'm gonna I'm gonna clamp the sides and I'm gonna do more and I'm gonna help her get up that way, right? When you spot I said I heard someone spotting from the elbows the other day. Why is that a not good idea? Because you're pulling your elbows right boom, out. Boom. That's a piece your body wants to move. So we want to stay on the trunk or on the weight itself. Does that make sense? Again, uh, let's try a couple of reps just so we get like so we get because what's the weirdest part about this? Touches. We're right up, we're hugging, right? We're right, I'm right up in there, right? So let's do it a couple times to feel cool with it. But again, we're not trying to rip the bar off their back. Let them work for it. Just keep the bar moving. Let's give it a shot. Oh, I like that. 